um, in that uh, with indigenization, um, we're mainly um, working with uh, practitioners and information professionals and language teachers and helping people to digitize. And the sort of issue there is that when the pandemic hit, everybody had to go work from home and you can't really digitize when the collections are all at your place of work. So um, we were in the middle of um, a pretty major project developing new resources for new formats for helping people to digitize. And we had three um, regional workshops in the province planned um, that already had dates. One was a week out when we were sort of forced to cancel our workshops, but then very quickly we were all sent home from work as well. Um, so um, we were going from something that was in really rapid development and had people signed up for these workshops um, to there wasn't that much of a point in following the same trajectory because every, nobody was going to be at work for a while. Um, so we've been sort of digging a little bit deeper into developing our um, resources, which are manuals and guides to help people digitize, buying guides for people, tell people how to get equipment that's appropriate for digitizing your cultural heritage. Um, and I think all people who work in language and work in capacity development um, have online classes as a part of their um, of what they're looking at. So what we've done is sort of advanced that in our roadmap and started to look at um, developing online classes. And what I'm seeing from my network of language teachers in the First Peoples Cultural Council is that um, that when the, when it first hit and when people had to socially isolate, it was a big hit because almost all strategies were based around getting people together first, building community and teaching that way. And, um, and I mean, like Belinda, people teach both in small groups and community and in large groups at universities. Um, this thing is a very sort of strange scale in terms of language teaching. Extremely effective on Facebook and in other places in, in the community part of it and really scrambling to scale up their online classes um, for uh, the larger groups, I think, and the more sort of um, disparate group.